All right, we've got the Ibanez bridge sitting here, and I want to disassemble it, and then we're going to clean it and put it back together because I uh, bought it off of eBay, and it's a little bit dirty, and it's probably been around the block. Uh, this particular arm, all you got to do is spin it off of its shaft, pull it out, and remove it. To get the back out, we're going to take a, I believe it's a 3 millimeter Allen wrench, loosen, and then spin the bolt out. That should fall right through. Again, keep your parts together. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm actually going to put the arm back in it. So that's the arm out. Okay, next what we're going to do, we're going to take all these uh, string saddles out off the trim. You have to be very careful. There is a 12 inch radius set into each, each one of these blocks. So the blocks on the sides here are shorter, then they step up a notch and then step up a notch again. So when you pull these off, keep them in the order, lay them out in the order that you took them off the guitar. That way you're not guessing on what height goes where when you go to reassemble the bridge. Obviously the uh, bolts that hold them down are universal, you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's good to do this once in a while to keep all the components on your bridge fresh. Um, keep everything clean, it'll uh, last a little bit longer. These bridge pieces have a little bit of corrosion in it and I think uh, when I go to detail and clean this up, we might have some issues getting some parts out and getting them moving again, but we'll cross that road when we get there. And the last one's out. Now, if you want, you can take the base plate off with these three bolts. I don't really think it's necessary. Uh, the bridge looks like it's in pretty good shape. We just need to wipe the uh, base plate clean and uh, start detailing. So that's basically how to disassemble a uh, Ibanez TRS low pro bridge.